everything was done under the guidance of, of the Soviet embassy in Hanoi. And same thing I was doing in New Delhi. To my horror, I discovered that in the files where people were doomed to execution, there were names of, of pro-Soviet journalists with whom I was personally friendly. Pro-Soviet? Yes. They were idealistically minded leftists who uh, made several visits to USSR. And yet, the KGB decided that come revolution or drastic changes in political structure of India, they will have to go. Why is that? Because they, they know too much. Mm -hmm. Simply because, you see, the useful idiots, the, the leftists who are idealistically believing in the beauty of Soviet socialist or communist or whatever system, when they get disillusioned, they become the worst enemies. That's why my KGB instructors specifically made the point, never bother with leftists. Forget about these political prostitutes. Aim higher. This was my instruction. Try to get into, into uh, large circulation established conservative media. Reach, filthy rich movie makers, intellectuals, so-called academic circles. Cynical, egocentric people who can look into your eyes with angelic expression and tell you a lie. These are the most recruitable people, people who lack moral principles, who are either too greedy or too uh, suffer from self-importance. Uh, they feel that uh, they, they matter a lot. Uh, these are the people who KGB wanted very much to recruit. But also, to eliminate the others, to execute the others, don't they serve some purpose? Wouldn't they be no, the ones they, they rely they on? They serve purpose only at the stage of destabilization of a nation. For example, your leftists, in, in United States, all these professors and all these beautiful civil rights defenders, they are instrumental in the process of the, of the uh, uh, subversion only to destabilize a nation. When their job is completed, they are, non, they are not needed anymore. They know too much. Some of them, when, when they get disillusioned, when they see that Marxist-Lenin has come to power, they, obviously they get offended. They think that they will come to power. That will never happen, of course. They will be lined up against the wall and shot. But they may turn into the most bitter enemies of Marxist-Leninists when they come to power. And that's what happened in Nicaragua. You remember most of these uh, former Marxist-Leninists were either put to prison or one of them split, and now he's working against Sandinistas. It happened in, in uh, uh, Grenada when Maurice Bishop was, he was already a Marxist. He was executed by, by a new Marxist who was more Marxist than this Marxist. Same happened in Afghanistan when uh, first there was Taraki, he was killed by Amin, then Amin was killed by Babrak Karman with the help of KGB. Same happened in, in Bangladesh when Mujibur Rahman, very pro-Soviet leftist, was assassinated by his own Marxist-Leninist military comrades. It's the same pattern everywhere. The moment they serve their purpose, all the useful idiots are used either be executed entirely, all the idealistically minded Marxists, or uh, uh, exiled or put in prisons, like in Cuba. Many, many former Marxists are in Cuba, I mean in prison. So most of the Indians who were cooperating with the Soviets, especially without uh, a de department of, of uh, information of the USSR embassy, were listed for execution. Uh, and when I discovered that fact, of course I was sick, I was mentally and physically sick.